Hi everyone, welcome to Pebbles channel. Today we are here to learn science through some very interesting experiments using the things we find at home. So are you ready? Before we begin with our experiments, there are certain concepts that you need to know in order to understand the experiments we are about to do. To begin with, we are going to learn a new word today. The word is density. Density, yes. So, what is density? To give it in simple terms, density is the mass per unit volume. That is, how densely or tightly a particular object is packed. As you all know, solids are tightly packed, liquids are not so tightly packed and the gases, the, mo the molecules of gases are loosely packed. So that is how we define density. Have you ever wondered when you place a nail in the water, what happens? It sinks. A nail is made up of iron. However, when a large ship is going in the water, it doesn't sink. It floats on the water. Have you ever wondered why this happens? The answer is density. An iron nail is very densely packed. That is, the iron molecules inside are tightly packed. They are close to each other. Therefore, its density is more than the density of the water. So, it sinks to the bottom. However, in a large ship, there are a lot of air spaces inside and so it is not densely packed. So, the density is lesser than the density of water. So, it floats. Do you remember our first experiment? The oil and water experiment? Yes. And what happened when we mixed oil in water? The oil formed a separate layer above. Why did that happen? It happened because oil is less dense compared to water. So water has more density compared to oil. So, the water stayed at the bottom and the oil was floating above. So, now I hope you've understood the concept of density. So, density is the mass, that is the number of molecules present per unit volume, depending upon the amount of space it occupies. Mass per unit volume. That is how we define density. So did you understand the concept of density?